Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss risk evaluation and mitigation strategies and risk management plans. Although medicinal products are developed with an intent to provide therapeutic effects, it cannot be denied that they also carry potential risks of adverse effects. Despite all the steps taken for drug safety, such as proper prescribing guidance, product monograph, etc., occurrence of adverse effects can be seen widely. With the concern to increase the safety with drug use, regulatory authorities have developed a risk management system to keep a check on the risks associated with the medicinal product. Risk management system is a set of activities and interventions designed to identify, characterize, prevent or minimize the risk related to medicinal products. It also includes the assessment of effectiveness of these interventions. Risk evaluation and mitigation strategies and risk management plans are risk management systems used by FDA and EMA respectively. Both REMS and RMP work as a guide for identification, characterizing, preventing or minimizing the risks linked to the medicines. Both use their own approaches but have the same objective of safe use of medicinal products. Now we will talk about REMS and RMP separately and at the end we will do a comparative study of both systems. Let's start with REMS. REMS is a program to manage and prevent the known or potential serious risks associated with some medicinal product. It is required by FDA to ensure that the benefits of a drug outweigh its risks. Elements of REMS program include Medication Guide, which highlights the important safety information about the drug, Communication Plan for healthcare providers to communicate the required information, and Elements to assure safe use which is needed for the appropriate use of a drug. For example, requirement of physician certificate to prescribe certain drugs or dispensing the medicine only in certain settings. So